Hey everyone, it's Matt from the Aeon Project. Just uh, dialing in from Barcelona on my way back to Canada to meet up with the team after a very successful blockchain solutions forum here in Barcelona where we're talking about Aeon, talking about interoperability uh, and all the work we're doing at Nuco to kind of move our vision forward. I just wanted to walk you through a couple of thoughts. We keep getting a lot of questions about, you know, differentiators, um, you know, core aspects of our protocol. So I wanted to walk you through a few high level um, discussion points about where we see ourselves fitting into the industry, what is it about Aeon that, that kind of is unique from our perspective and the design components that we're putting together to really solve one of the big infrastructure challenges we envision over the next uh, two to three years playing out, which is really scale and interoperability between all these networks. So, you know, first and foremost, many of you kind of have bucketed Aeon into this, um, the, one of these protocols of interoperability, which is absolutely correct. I mean, we're working on a set of protocols, including what we call our bridging protocol, which is a decentralized communication mechanism to allow transactions on any blockchain to recognize transactions on any other blockchain given that they be connected to the Aeon protocol. So, you know, main core hypothesis in that design was to make sure that any existing blockchain could be compatible to Aeon without having to make updates to their to their own protocols. So, you know, this is something we find to be extremely important. There's a probably a few hundred blockchain protocols in existence today, some more popular than others. You know, you've got uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, of course. You've got projects like Zcash and Tezos and EOS. You've also got the enterprise side of the market where, you know, you've got enterprise Ethereum work being done at a lot of companies, um, Hyperledger, Corda, and other kind of projects getting built by different large organizations. So, you know, big part of our core focus was to make sure that all of these various protocols could come together, make sure that there's interoperability communication between these networks. Um, as we look into the enterprise market where we've spent a lot of our time over the last few years, uh, we realized that all of these isolated systems, we're eventually going to run into a problem because, you know, one person's supply chain becomes like the starting point to another person's financing network. And that financing network has to connect to somebody else's healthcare network or insurance network. So there's all sorts of overlaps in industry that could not be solved simply by building customized isolated networks. So that was kind of the first motivation that got us into the Aon design. Um, and we think we've got a really, really, really strong solution to solve and address that. So we're already starting to announce some of our partners that are going to be working with us. As of yesterday, we announced a really strong relationship with Moog Industries, which is a you know Fortune 1000 massive industrial manufacturing company that is looking at how do you tie uh, a blockchain system into a 3D printing environment to redefine how they do global supply chains and moving parts around the world. So they've already realized the need for something like Aon to essentially standardize the communication as their supply chains overlap into other industries. So we're going to continue pushing that forward with the bridging protocol. Uh, probably the one thing that, that many of you have already been focusing on. The, the other thing about our, our system that I wanted to highlight is, is the actual Aeon 1 blockchain that kind of sits as the router or the core of our system. The Aeon 1 blockchain, we're building a, a bunch of unique features and components into because we still think there's a core missing um, scalable solution in the market in terms of where could an enterprise or a large scale application get built such that it could manage thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. That system today doesn't exist from our perspective. So we're building Aeon One with a couple of core pieces that we think are missing. One, a new virtual machine. The Aeon virtual machine is gonna be a parallel transaction processing environment that could do a significantly larger scale of transactions through the same network. Uh, a new consensus model that can allow for a broader set of distributed validators uh, while still having a very, very efficient block time. Right now we're targeting to have that block time starting off at sub five seconds potentially getting it down to sub two seconds um, at some point in the near future as we roll out our milestone. So, you know, the Aeon One network itself not only allows you to build interesting applications in the same way you could on other smart contract based blockchains, but also allows you to build what we call interchain applications. So if you imagine building an application that has some of its logic coming from various different blockchains that are connected to the Aeon system uh, and all running through a single virtual machine on a single blockchain, but being able to pull logic and trigger outputs into different networks that are connected to the protocol. So, you know, this allows us to scale applications in, you know, in a more federated way where parts of these transactions and parts of this data could be sitting on top of on other participating blockchains that are in the Aon system.